the limit of x approaching 0 from the negative side of this equation. Now, we could leave it with this equation, but we could also, if you want to, change this equation actually to x cubed minus 1 over x. How do I do that? Multiply top and bottom here by x. Bring it together. It doesn't matter which one we use. I just wanted to show you you can do that. Now, if I want the limit as x approaches 0, just in general, does it exist? No. Because you get 0 over, sorry, you get 0 on the bottom and you get negative 1 on top. So would this be an asymptote? We know it's an asymptote because when you plug in 0, you get negative 1 over 0. So the problem is, if we're taking the limit as x approaches 0 from the negative side, it does not exist, but could we give it a negative or positive infinity? Yes. So again, we know when we plug in 0, you get negative 1 over 0, which means it's a vertical asymptote. So we know it's a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. We just want to see from the negative side, is my limit negative or positive? And basically, how would you figure that out? You basically just make a table and plug in values and see which direction it's going. OK. See which direction it's going is the best bet to see if it's going up or if it's going down and so forth. So let's just make a quick little table. We're approaching 0 from the negative side. So give me two numbers that are approaching from the negative side. Well, and I'm going to do it like I'm going to do it from negative 2 and negative 1 because I'm approaching from right to left to right. Now, again, it doesn't matter which equation you used. I'm just using this one because I don't know, I like it better for some reason. When I plug in negative, one, negative 2, negative 2 cubed is going to be negative 8 minus 1 over negative 2, which gives us, is that negative, positive 9 over 2? So positive 9 over 2. And then if we plug in negative 1, we get negative 1 minus 1 over negative 1, which becomes positive 2. Is that right? Positive 2. Now this one right here, isn't that 4.5? So what do you see? Is it going down or getting up? Aren't the values kind of going smaller? So if we wanted to plug in negative 0.5, do you think it would be smaller and smaller and smaller? You can kind of see the trend. It's easier putting whole numbers in. So my answer would be negative infinity. Because we know it's a vertical asymptote. We notice by the table it's basically going downward trend. My answer is negative infinity. Technically, it does not exist. But we can put negative infinity as a description, and it's better to do that. Okay.